Okay, so let's uh, write the AT&T APN on this uh, Sky 6.0 phone. Okay, you're gonna use the settings. So you're gonna open settings. Um, okay, settings, and then we are going to hit more. And the next step, we're gonna use mobile networks. Um, okay, and we are going to access point names. Access point name. Okay, so now um, this phone already has an APN on it. So if if you see these APNs on your phone already, just you can edit edit these uh, APNs, or you can add one, a new one. You can because this phone is uh, has two SIMs slots, so you can use override. I mean, write another one. So just go to so that's your case. You can do just go to the uh, right top of the screen and hit new APN. You're gonna open a new window and start uh, putting the APNs that you're gonna go through right now. Uh, okay, but in this case, I'm just gonna go to override it. So, I'm gonna hit this one, which is highlighted. Just, uh, um, just hit that one, and we are going to use uh, this. Uh, we're gonna write this APN on the on the field. Okay, so you're gonna write these APNs. Okay, uh, name. We are going to enter ATT capital space phone capital on and E. Okay, ATT. I hope I can focus. Uh, okay, ready to go. So just hit enter, I mean OK, and then the APN, we are going to write phone, capital, I mean lowercase, F-H-O-N-E, phone, OK. You're going to leave in blank APN type, port, proxy, and server, now MMC. We are going to write the word, the address http uh, column slash slash mmsc dot mobile m o b I L E dot A, A T T dot net. Okay, dot net. And does it, once you finish, just hit OK to save it. And then MMS proxy. We are going to write the following address: one seven two. 172.26.37 Okay, that one. Okay, 27.1. One. Now hit OK. And then MMS port is going to be 80. Okay, so write 80. Just hit OK. And then just uh, leave as it is on MCC, MNSC, authentic type, everything. Just we are done with that. And uh, go to the right top of the screen, and the three dots, and just save the APM. Okay, save the APM. Just hit OK, and it's ready. The nice thing of this phone, okay. Um, is when we finish uh, writing down the the AT, AT, the, the, the APN, the first one, automatically can generate the second one, which is the ATT HSPA, which is most of the most of the LTE phones. Okay, and this phone supports the carrier, the uh, network too. So. Um, you see, you saw this one at the beginning of this video because 
I made a video in Spanish um, uh, just before this video and that's why I didn't delete this one but on the Spanish one once I uh, create or wrote this APN automatically it generated the second one okay so if it's not your case uh, and, you, and you have a rate plan with AT&T where you have the LTE the new rate plans that most of them has high speed internet so just uh, use these APNs with the same same process okay same same process just go to APN and you're gonna use the ATT HSPA okay ATT HSPA let me see I can focus that better uh, there you go uh, ATT SPA on and the name I just hit OK and then the APN is gonna be phone so the only thing that changed at the beginning is the name okay we use ATT phone and the new one is gonna be ATT HSPA so that's the only difference and uh, APN type is default let me see if you can fix the zoom here so you can okay so uh, this one is default uh, proxy is blank port is blank username is blank password server is blank MMC it is the same right the HTTP HTTP MMSSC dot mobile dot ATT dot net so that's, that is the same the MMS proxy is not set that means that you don't need it um, MMS port is blank just leave it leave the same values and that's it so um, so on the newer phones on the newer APN settings the MMS proxy is not necessary okay so just leave it like that and so even in the first one it didn't work on your phone uh, try the second one which is this one and uh, I am sure that it will work properly on your phone on this Sky 6.0 in any any Sky phone uh, in any T-Mobile unlocked phone that you can use it you would like to use it on on AT&T network okay so uh, like you see uh, the new AT uh, APN is already highlighted. If it's not turned on, they just just uh, hit and turn on. Okay, and go back, and you can just uh, reboot your phone. And on the tab, you haven't see any seeking any 3G or 4G uh, on the tab. Just uh, go to um, after you reboot your phone. Just come back and hit the network operators. Network operators is. Uh, Okay, so just hit network operators right here, network operators, and go to search manually, the first on the tab. Search manually, I'm trying to focus, okay. So search, search manually, okay, and just hit OK. And now your phone is trying to connect with the server, with a uh, network carrier. Okay, so once it's finished, uh, you're gonna appear on your screen a couple options. So just give a second, and when you see those options on the screen, just uh, select. Uh, in this case, you will see AT&T because right now I have a Ultra Mobile SIM card on this phone, but uh, when you have a SIM AT&T SIM card, will show on the screen the AT&T. So select the highest one if you see any like a uh, AT&T 4G or uh, LTE but any other just select AT&T and you will see at the bottom like register or network that means uh, it's properly connected to the network okay sometimes uh, if you don't see this message um, then your sim card slot might be uh, damaged um, so if that's the case you can just replace that sim card and if you, you're not able to get any signal, uh, you can call your carrier and verify that the IMEI number is uh, is clean, okay? 
because sometimes, uh, like nowadays, uh, they start blocking the IMEI. Uh, when some customers, they don't finish paying their phone off, uh, they don't, or they owe money with uh, Sprint or T-Mobile and they left, or they claim warranty on their phone, uh, or they report it as a stolen or or um, lost, then uh, they, or the, me and at t or T-Mobile, they start blocking the IMEI. So call the carrier verify that the IMEI is clean. And if it is clean, then that means that the SIM card slot might be damaged and need to change that. Okay, so in, in order to activate the picture message, um, if you're not able to send picture message, just have somebody send you a picture message first. And if that doesn't work, just send a picture message on your own phone number, which is the phone number attached to this phone. Okay, and that's, that's the way to activate the, the uh, picture message. Okay, so this is the way to write the at and APN on this phone. Um, I hope I give gave enough information but if you have any other questions or something that I missed to mention uh, please let me know uh, on comments and I I will get back to you and also uh, I have a video with this same model uh, for the T-Mobile APNs um, Simple Mobile APN Gosmart Mobile Net 10 APN on this phone so let me know if you have any other questions okay thank you